10 ways to disconnect your iPhone from Mac. Disconnect iPhone from Finder. If you have set your Mac to detect the iPhone when on Wi-Fi, it will still show it in Finder even when you unplug the device from the cable. Open the Finder window. From the left sidebar, select your iPhone's name. In the General tab, scroll down to Options, next to Show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi, deselect the box. Restrict Mac from using iPhone's personal hotspot. Click on the Apple logo. Select System Preferences, then go to Network. From the left sidebar, select your Wi-Fi. Uncheck the box next to ask to join personal hotspot. Disconnect AirDrop. To disable AirDrop on iPhone, open the Settings app. Go to General Settings. Tap on AirDrop. Select Receiving Off. To disable AirDrop on Mac, open the Finder window. From the left sidebar, click on AirDrop. At the bottom, next to Allow Me to be Discovered By, click on the drop-down menu and select No One. Disconnect Devices from Bluetooth. To unpair Mac from your iPhone, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Tap on Bluetooth. Next to your Mac's name, tap on the information icon. Tap on Forget This Device. To unpair the iPhone from Mac, click on the Apple logo and select System Preferences. Click on Bluetooth. Hover over your iPhone's name and click on the X button. Then, select Remove. Turn off Handoff. To turn off Handoff on iPhone, open the Settings app. Go to General Settings. Then, tap on AirPlay and Handoff. Next to Handoff, toggle the switch to disable the feature. To turn off Handoff on Mac, click on the Apple logo and select System Preferences. Go to General. At the bottom uncheck the box next to allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. Disable iCloud Sync. To turn off iCloud Sync on your iPhone, open the Settings app. Tap on your Apple ID. Select iCloud. Scroll down and disable apps and services you want to stop syncing between devices. To turn off iCloud Sync on Mac, click on the Apple logo. Go to System Preferences. Then click on Apple ID. From the left sidebar, select iCloud. Uncheck the box next to apps and services you want to stop syncing. Turn off text forwarding. To disable text forwarding on iPhone, go to your iPhone settings. Scroll down and tap on Messages. Then tap on Send and Receive. Now, deselect your Apple ID to stop receiving messages. To disable text forwarding on Mac, open the Messages app. From the menu bar, click on Messages and select Preferences. Go to the Messages tab. Click on Sign Out to stop receiving all messages on your Mac. Disable Receiving Calls. To stop receiving calls on Mac, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on Phone. Then tap on Calls on Other Devices. Next to Allow Calls on Other Devices, toggle the switch to disable the option. Disable Note Sync. To disable note sync on iPhone, open the Settings app, scroll down and tap on Notes. Next to On My iPhone Account, toggle the switch to turn on the option. To disable note sync on iPhone, open the Notes app. From the menu bar, click on Notes and select Preferences. Check the box next to enable the On My Mac account to store notes locally. Remove Mac or iPhone from Apple ID. To remove the iPhone from your Apple ID, on your Mac, click on the Apple logo, select System Preferences, then click on Apple ID. From the left sidebar, select your iPhone name. At the bottom, click on Remove from Account and confirm the action. To remove Mac from your Apple ID, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Tap on your Apple ID. Scroll down and select your Mac. Then tap on Remove from Account and confirm the action. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files take up on your Mac. 
Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.